Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your communication engineering interview. So if you have a communication engineer interview coming up for any organization, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I'm going to help you to stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, this is what I'll cover. I'll start off by giving you a list of the most current communication engineering interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to help you to succeed. Plus, I'll make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your communication engineering interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 27 quick and brilliant answers to all of the most common communication engineering interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you to pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest communication engineering interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's take a look at that first communication engineering interview question to prepare for, which is tell me about yourself. Now this is a brilliant opportunity to get your interview off to a flying start and really impress the hiring manager. You can be the standout candidate by focusing your answer on the skills and qualities that you possess. Don't talk about your home life or your personal life unless it's relevant to the job role itself. Instead, focus on your experience and your passion for working in the role as a communication engineer. And also don't forget to tell them how you're going to add value to their company in the job role itself. A great and easy way to do all of these things is to make sure you study the job description and focus on telling the hiring manager or the interview panel how your skills are a perfect match to those that they desire. So for example, if on the job description it states that they're seeking someone who is analytical with great communication abilities, then throughout your communication engineering interview answers, be sure to say those exact terms. Now let's take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer that's going to make you the standout candidate. Tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to be interviewed for this position today. I'm an enthusiastic communication engineer with a passion for technology and problem solving. My journey began with a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering where I discovered my love for wireless communications. Over the past five years, I've immersed myself in diverse projects from enhancing corporate network infrastructures to deploying satellite systems. I thrive on challenges and enjoy translating complex technical problems into practical solutions. What really drives me is the opportunity to work on cutting edge technologies that improve how we communicate. For instance, in my recent role, I spearheaded a project to upgrade our network for advanced VIP services, which was both challenging and rewarding. Outside of work, I'm a tech enthusiast who loves staying updated with the latest industry trends and participating in tech workshops. I also enjoy hiking and photography, which allow me to disconnect and find inspiration in nature. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be that standout candidate. Remember, by giving a confident answer like this to that opening interview question, not only will you impress the hiring manager and stand out, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your answers to come. Okay, let's take a look at the next communication engineering interview question, which is why have you chosen communication engineering? Now, why are you being asked this interview question? We are being asked it because they want to assess your passion, your motivation, and your understanding the field's significance and your role in it, in this job role that you'll be undertaking. So a top is to make sure you articulate your genuine interest in communication technology, how it aligns with your career goals and any relevant experiences or projects that have shaped your choice thus far. So if there's a genuine reason and a story of why you've got into communications engineering, now's the time to tell it, be personable, be likable, just be yourself and be genuine. But let me show you what a top scoring answer looks like and how you could be the standout candidate. Why have you chosen communication engineering? 
I chose communication engineering because of my fascination with how communication technologies connect the world and drive innovation. From a young age, I was intrigued by the complexities of how data is transmitted and received, inspiring me to delve into the science behind it. My academic pursuits in electrical and communication engineering further cemented this passion. As I explored the intricacies of network design, wireless systems and digital communications. What excites me most about this field is its dynamic nature and its pivotal role in shaping the future of global communication. Every advancement opens new possibilities for connectivity and efficiency, and being a part of this evolving landscape is both challenging and rewarding. Your company's commitment to pioneering new communication solutions aligns perfectly with my professional aspirations and my desire to contribute to impactful technological advancements. Okay, don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more communication engineering interview questions and answers to give you in this tutorial, but when you're ready and only if you want to, please click that link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below this video. It will take you through to my website howtobecome.com where you can download my 27 communication engineering interview questions and answers for all organisations to give you the edge in your interview, including the ones we're covering right now. Oh, and don't forget to tell me in the comment section below which organisation you're applying for so I can help you even further. Okay, here's the next question for you. What are the most important skills a communication engineer should have? I love this question and it's one that I'm seeing asked more and more often. And you're being asked it because the hiring manager wants to assess your understanding of the key competencies required in the field and how you perceive their importance. Because only if you have a fully comprehensive and a true understanding of the role can you truly master the role and be a great employee for the company. So my tip here is to highlight a balanced mix of technical skills like network design and signal processing and soft skills. And what I mean by that is skills such as problem solving, communication skills, and then relate all of these skills to practical experiences or scenarios where these skills are essential. So you can either back it up with evidence where you've previously demonstrated these skills and show how important they were, or you can talk about how these skills are pivotal to the job role itself, which is a great way to answer this question. So here is a top scoring answer to help you. What are the most important skills a communication engineer should have? A communication engineer should possess a blend of technical and soft skills. Technically, a deep understanding of network architecture, including both wired and wireless systems, is fundamental. Proficiency in various programming languages and software tools used in network design and analysis is crucial. Additionally, strong problem solving skills are essential for effectively diagnosing and addressing network issues. Equally important are analytical skills for optimizing system performance and ensuring network security. On the soft skill side, effective communication is key for explaining complex technical concepts to non-technical stakeholders and collaborating with diverse teams. Adaptability is also vital, given the rapidly evolving nature of communication technology. Lastly, a commitment to continuous learning is necessary to stay abreast of the latest advancements in the field. Okay, here is the next communication engineering interview question for you. Can you describe a challenging project you worked on and how you managed to successfully implement a communication system? Wow, this is a really tricky question that you must get right. It's designed to assess your problem solving skills, your technical knowledge, and your ability to manage and implement complex communication projects successfully. So my tip here is to answer this by focusing on describing a specific project, highlight the challenges you faced, your role in addressing those challenges and the key skills or strategies you used to ensure the project success. Make sure it ends on a positive end result. That's really important. Let's take a look at a great top scoring answer to help you. Can you describe a challenging project you worked on and how you managed to successfully implement a communication system? One challenging project I worked on involved designing and implementing a robust wireless communication system for a large industrial facility with complex structural barriers. The main challenge was ensuring consistent 
and strong signal coverage throughout the facility, despite numerous physical obstructions. I tackled this by conducting a thorough site survey to identify key problem areas. Utilizing advanced RF simulation software, I optimized the placement of access points to ensure maximum coverage. I also chose equipment specifically designed for industrial environments to guarantee system durability and reliability. Throughout the project, I maintained close collaboration with the IT team and the facility managers, ensuring the system met both technical and operational needs. The project was successful, significantly enhancing communication efficiency within the facility. Okay, this next question is a really tricky one. How do you stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in communication engineering and how have you applied this knowledge in your previous roles? Many people get stumped when answering this interview question and you need to make sure your answer shows your commitment to continuous learning and your ability to apply new knowledge and technologies in the field of communication engineering because the world and technologies are ever changing. So make sure you mention specific resources you use for staying informed, such as industry journals, online courses or professional networks, and give concrete examples of how you've implemented new technologies or methods in your past projects. Here is a brilliant answer to help you. How do you stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in communication engineering? And how have you applied this knowledge in your previous roles? To stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in communication engineering, I actively engage in continuous learning through various channels. I regularly read industry journals and attend webinars and conferences, which not only provide insights into emerging technologies, but also offer networking opportunities with other professionals. Additionally, I'm a member of professional organisations like IEEE Communication Society, which keeps me connected with the latest developments and best practices in the field. In my previous role, this approach allowed me to spearhead the adoption of advanced wireless communication standards, leading to a significant improvement in network efficiency and reliability. I implemented a state-of-the-art VOIP system, incorporating the latest in security protocols, which enhance both performance and user experience. This continuous updating of my knowledge base ensures that I remain a valuable asset to my team and contribute effectively to cutting edge projects. So the next thing to do if you want to get the full list of 27 communication engineering interview questions and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt is to click that link right now in the top right hand corner of this video for two reasons. The first reason is it would take you through to my website howtobecome.com where you can get all of these answers we just covered plus a total of 27 brilliant responses to communication engineering interview questions. And and secondly, the next reason is I've given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your communication engineering interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview and also more importantly, put you ahead of the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews and I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. If you have any questions regarding any specific organization or interview, do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below this video. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.